Okay, welcome to part two of Dark Blood for Enhypen. We are getting right back into it. We just did Sacrifice. Um, next up is Ch 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 I, I'm not even going to pretend to know how to say this at all. I can't talk. I can spell. I can type. I can't talk. I don't know why you guys listen to me. I can't talk. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Continuing with that darkness. What? Nope. <laughs> Don't know how to say it. Wow. Okay, so they went hardcore on like the R&B style for this album. I didn't think that was going to happen. Or like hip hop ish R&B. I like the attitude on that. Shakuna. Shakun now. Shakun now. <laughs> so I'm trying to learn. Wow, I do not know what to say about these songs. I think I like this one better than Sacrifice. I feel like this one has a little bit more bounce to it, like a little bit more of that melody. Whereas Sacrifice is more stylized. But again, what are these songs? Like, where did these come from for an hyphen? star can i just say the star of this album i think last album it was jake for me if i remember remember correctly so hoon and sanu but especially sanu my goodness like vocally sanu on this album i love Mm, Nikki too though. It is so stylized, this album, though, with the, like, reverb, echo, vocal, um, 
effects. Which we've heard before, but usually they like change up. They went for a very specific darker vibe on this one. I don't know what to feel about it. God, I feel like I'm doing this all over again, like with Manifesto. I feel like I'm having the same feelings where it's like, this is not going to be my favorite thing. Um, but then I hope it grows on me because Manifesto def definitely did. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Because again, weirdly, none of these are bad. I would straight up tell you if I didn't like it, anything. None of them are bad. They're just not standing out to me at all. Again, this one though, potential. I thought this would feel a lot different than the other ones, but the more you listen to it, it kind of sounds like the other one. <laughs> a little bubblier. In a way, the vocal effects on this song remind me of 10 months or Let Me In, like when, like back then when it was a little bit more heavy. Hmm. Hmm. It was missing something. It was just missing something. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to think real hard about what I want to say about this <laughs> because I don't want to pull what I pulled last time and be like, I don't like this album because I manifesto changed. So I don't want to be like, I don't know. I don't know. Nothing standing out yet. Let's see, Karma. This was the. This is the heavy hitter. <laughs> Oh. Oh. 
Okay, this is more of like a classic rock take on what they've been doing with rock in previous um, albums. <laughs> okay. See, like, this has something to it. And it has a little bit more to it to me, and it kind of feels a bit more like them to me because it kind of feels like attention, please. Or even um, the feeling one, like. Oh, you know what it actually definitely reminds me of? The, the one. The one. The OST one. <laughs> Words. God, why can't I remember that fucking title? I feel like I'm actually losing like pieces of my brain. <laughs> that's really bad. Um, not zero moment. That's not what I meant. One in a billion, obviously. Uh, oh, that's what I meant. <laughs> this one's my favorite. Maybe even more than the title track. Maybe the same as the title track. Maybe more. <laughs> That didn't sound like some Hoon or Dragon One for the most part. I assume it's correct though. They just like put a serious effect on on that to make it sound like it's far away. That was my favorite one. Yes. Oh fuck yeah, that's a way to end an album. Yes, the shredding of the electric guitar, absolutely. Okay, huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna act like I know what to say. Um, I. Like karma number one, bite me number two. After that, I don't know. I feel like the the other than the intro, other than fate, I feel like they're all very very similar. So I have to give them another listen. Um, I found I found myself definitely getting like maybe bored by them, um, especially back to back like that. But they are I can't I can't lie and say they're not my style because I do love creepy simple music I just kind of expected it to go somewhere from there after sacrifice um or just have a little bit more to it it just was missing something overall my first impression of it is that I probably do like it better than manifesto but I probably won't probably won't have a lasting impression like manifesto did if that makes sense I feel like the title track definitely will though I feel like that's the one that's going to stand out to me later on, like as I listen to the album more. But we'll see. Ask me later. Ask me during the during the unboxing what is up. 
when it comes to live performances, the comeback showcase, I don't think I'm there yet with coming back to YouTube where I can deal with copyright blocks and this and that and just a lot of reactions. I don't know if I'm there yet, so I apologize. Um, I might just check them out on my own time even before I was kind of doing that with especially in Hybin. So we'll see. Anyways, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this album. Um, also, let me know what your favorite album is from in Hybin because I'm very curious. I feel like they all have such different vibes that if you tell me your favorite, I will understand kind of more your style. Um, so I would be curious. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much.